Every season brings a new set of challenges. But none of our athletes expected this year to be the most challenging they would ever have to face. This first training camp in South Africa is really a key piece for our team and uh, this year we have also um, a really nice surprise for the riders and we are pretty excited about it. The biggest challenge probably we are faced with in, in 2020 or from now on is moving from a bike that you use now for a few years to a new one which is something good and something that challenges us at the same time, just because um, everything that's new is not going to be the same in the old. She's a beast. Yeah. It's nice, huh? <laughs> I already saw it in the US, but uh, now it's time yeah, for a ride the first time. When I was a kid, uh, I never had really the proper machine. You know, I was dreaming about the bikes of the other guys. Since I'm a professional rider, I enjoy all the, these moments because it's something special and especially a bike like this. I can already imagine the, the, the seconds that I will save during the race and, and I still have the, the same eyes as a kid. And now it's definitely it's a, the really nice part of our job, trying stuff before everybody and uh, giving feedbacks and trying to, to extract the maximum of the machine and then uh, we send it. I mean for now just ride and don't think too much about making changes right away, just ride. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. You maybe can't see but inside I'm really excited. just goes where I want to go. He's not bending in the brakes or in the curves, he's just going through. But I need time of adaptation. Thanks. Happy days, ah, okay, definitely like... happy days. <laughs> Kenta is a former XC racer and a downhill racer. It's a big addition for the team. Uh, he helps uh, everyone uh, a lot and uh, also he is part of the family for the atmosphere and the smile he brings every morning. So yeah, Kenta is a, is a, is a character, nice one. KG was sending it like a king. <laughs> I just had to keep up. And the best way to keep up is to close your eyes. There are not a lot of guys like this. So he can be fast on an easy bike, but also on a Donil bike. It makes him really special for the team. So instead of going like through, you go up and down. Because right now we're basically just going flat. He really helps us to work on our skills, to be better and riding faster in Donil. When you say, oh, I feel slower here or faster here, it does, then I'm like, yeah, you do. It's not just a mental thing, it is actually visible. Okay. But I think everything else is, like you say, it's just little things to try and tweak to make yeah. it feel like you're a bite. And uh, for sure in the climbs, it's going way faster than the other one, in my opinion. And obviously that's where the most time is made in the next season. Mm. But in Daniel, uh, Especially on an XC course now, there is not a lot of corners. In the no, no. And on this part, I mean, the bike is, is meant to be so it you need and it's uh, massive. Even Olympic Games track, there's nothing really. Yeah, it's all straight.
If you want to perform at your best, you need a good bike, but also the support you get from your staff. You can take decisions just on your own. Every time we are making an important choice, they are a big part of it as a team, as a group. So you're going to do Nova Master? Yeah. European champs? In the team, there is uh, Phil Dixon, trainer of the team, involved in all the performance area. On my side, I have also a personal trainer, which is Philippe. He is my trainer since 2005. It's kind of a second father, I would say. And uh, both of them are working together also to perform, to, be, to put myself in, uh, at my best. It's very particular, it's really a circuit that's beautiful, but it's old. And there's a lot of money, that's right. Mm. For Philippe, uh, it's, it's not a normal track like Nove Mesto, it's a long climb and one descent. So in terms of preparation for Nove Mesto, it's not the best. You need many, many people around. And if you don't have these people, you, you can't lift yourself. All of these people around uh, are really a good addition to your performance. And this is the few percentage that you get. It will make the difference in the end on the finish line. <laughs> First month is quite rough, but uh, he said after that normally you start to feel surprised yourself. Mm -hmm. After two weeks on the bike, I really feel uh, that I improved a lot my my shape. Uh, I started from far, so then uh, you just uh, reach the, the next steps really quick. It's a great feeling because uh, you you can feel that work uh, training works. Up, up, DJ, up, up. Nice on the bike. After two weeks, I'm definitely ready to go hard in the season. The parking to go home. I can feel that I have so much fresh energy into the body. I never had this in the, in the past years. Yeah, I think it's going to help a lot for, for the, the season. A handful of people in the city of Wuhan in China had pneumonia. With the mysterious virus perhaps originating at this meat and seafood park, China ordering a quarantine. COVID-19 is beginning to disrupt lives around the world. The virus can spread from person to person, raising broader fears of a pandemic. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. happen. Virus is uh, spreading really fast. But still, when uh, someone announces you, you have to stay home and um, you have no freedom anymore, uh, I think for everyone it's a big hit. Uh, the situation is clear, we have to stay home to train uh, at home. So definitely it's not easy, but uh, I think as a pro athlete we, we need to encourage people um, just to try to show the good example and this is exactly what we do. You don't know where you go, you don't know if you're gonna go to the games, but you still need to keep your shape in case of. You need to take the control to uh, make a plan, and uh, then it's way easier. We, we did really smart and clever choice with my coach, trying to deal with the situation as the best as we can. This containment is definitely uh, something strange in terms of training, uh, but I discovered a few things. Uh, I never really take the time to, to ride with my coach. He's living 300 k away, and we spend uh, more time on the bike together virtually in the last uh, two months than uh, what we did in the last six or seven months. We are all together virtually, and he's on WhatsApp. We find solution. Olympic Games were cancelled and uh, most of the events in mountain bike till August. So from that moment, that was a really different situation. Way less stressful, uh, for sure. But in the same time, you don't have goal anymore. On my side, I just love the, the process of, of training. I just enjoy to ride my bike. Not racing was not really the, the biggest uh, hit. It's just uh, postponed. So I still have the games in my mind, and, uh, but it's for later. Sometimes I just, I'm just dreaming about. In the 
and two months in my home in the same place without moving, going somewhere, never happened since 15 years, probably. Let's <laughs> listen about Charlotte. <laughs> I took a few lessons from that. I think it was more important to take care of the people around me, just to go through this, this time as best as I can and stay motivated. And I think I'm still really motivated and maybe even more because I just realized that uh, riding bicycle is definitely the, the best part of my life. I just heard that the UCI that postponed all the races of the year to September and October. So now uh, we are just waiting uh, for the season to start.